I'm John McGowan with the Cape Girardeau Public Library Board of Trustees, and I am the current uh, board president. So the Board of Trustees is the legal authorization and authority for running the Cape Girardeau Public Library. We're in charge of a $2 million budget and have all of the responsibilities of any business. It's just our business is the Cape Library. There's a couple things that made me want to join this board specifically. One, I'm a library patron and I enjoy it. Two, I wanted to give back to the community. And three, when I learned that there was a need for my experience, you know, which was financial primarily, that was something that made it so it was a perfect fit. Cape needs a library board of trustees in order to operate and function as a organization and a taxing entity and to be able to make all of the legal decisions and the policies, bylaws, make the budget, hire the executive director, and do all of the organizational level activities. We don't get into the weeds and choose which books are in the library, but we do make the policies on how those books are chosen. So the Library Board of Trustees, like many boards, has a chairperson, a vice chairperson, a secretary, and a treasurer. Then the other Board of Trustee members, we all make up the board for final decisions, but we have many committees from you know, the budget and personnel. Marketing is also one of the major areas and each of those committees is staffed by the board members, so there is a time commitment involved when you sign up and volunteer to be on this board. The board chairperson drives the agenda and helps with the strategic plan. The entire board is uh, required to vote on any changes, you know, so it's not done at a committee level with just a few people, but we try to make most of the work happen at committee level so that all the board has to do is review it and vote on it. I would encourage people to apply to be on any of the city advisory boards or the library board of trustees to become more involved in the city, to give back to the city, to give your voice to how the city is operated, and to provide a level of expertise that the city council members who really are primarily volunteers, yes, they get a stipend, but they only have so much time. And without the advisory boards to be able to give them guidance, it's way too much for those individuals to just try to handle. So it's an important give back as well as way to operate the city. I, of course, would encourage you to get involved with the Cape Public Library, but if that's not your desire or where your heart is, there are plenty of opportunities for you to give your expertise back to the city.